Right, I'm with uh, Scott Nimmo looking at now the x-rays you take on your wonderful machine. This is an x-ray of? This is an x-ray of a cat. Right, and it's got a little... Unfortunately it's been shot. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a kind of lead object there yeah. which is going to be a, a heavy gauge shotgun pellet. Sure. But this shows you the standard of x-rays we can actually take. You can clearly see the spine. You can see the heart there, which is actually normal size. You can see part of the lung field there. There's one kidney, another kidney. Uh, there's a lobe of the liver coming around there. Yep. Perhaps it's the spleen. I kind of think it's the lobe of the liver coming around. There's small intestine, large intestine, all quite discernible. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Yeah, very good, very high quality. It's good quality actually. You've got another another film there we can. Yeah, surely look at. yeah. Uh, this is the same animal but from a side view, a lateral view, and it's a little bit more detail of the chest there. Mm -hmm. Our foreign object is still discernible there. Yeah. But uh, there's a nice view of the heart, the trachea, the lung field, and and the diaphragm, both actually presenting both sides of it really there. Mm. That looks very clear. Excellent. Ben, so let's look at the uh, the, the ultrasound. But uh, I mean, that, those those X-rays really very impressive. Long gone are the days when the vets used to have just one film and dip it in. The oh, you were actually kind enough to give me a dental X-ray machine. That's right. Which is still Oral X. Yeah. And I, I saw fit to invest in three cat litter trays. Yes. One for develop, one for water, one for fixer. <laughs> That's and when took, you started I took off. X-rays with that, yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, it worked, didn't it? Yeah, they, 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 they were fine. Yes. Yes. And in those days too, I could buy an X-ray machine from the Exchange in Mark, which is where I got my second one from. Yes. Mm. And there was no health and safety. I could happily radiate all and sundry with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the early uh, pioneers used to, to X-ray themselves, didn't they? Uh, well, they did, but. They, they they were called the uh, X-ray martyrs, I think. Yes. They said, certainly in the veterinary field. Yeah. My father's partner used to use a fluoroscope screen, just used to hold it up and All stand right. in the beam. Oh, and really? In the 1950s, quite a few vets used to, used to actually die from X-ray exposure and radiation sickness. The reason was they were using X, X wartime equipment, mm. using fl fluoroscopy screens, and they didn't realise the, 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 the dangers. No, I know. I know. There used to be sort of uh, gadgets in shoe shops, didn't they? You could exactly. Stand. You've yeah. read my thoughts. People of my generation, the mother used to take them to the shoe shop, and there was clearly a, a fluoroscope screen there, and you used to yeah. see your toes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wondered why you had webbed feet for a long time, but that explains <laughs> a lot. Anyway, the ultrasound. Yeah, here. I'll, I'll, I'll put the head on it, and you can okay. see it working. Good. So this is used for what sort of things? The ultrasound. Well, it's a compliment. It's a compliment to the uh, X-ray machine, isn't it? Mm. X-ray machines show hard tissues uh, as opposed to soft tissues. The X-ray machines, as you know, I'm speaking to the, teaching my grandmother to suck eggs. They show dense structures yeah. as, as as white because the X-rays aren't penetrating. Uh, they do show soft tissue structures, but but not as you'd like. Mm. The Ultrasound machine is in fact a complement. It's much better for soft tissue things. Mm. We use this for pregnancy diagnosis. Some of our breeders want to know how many pups are going to be born. Yep. That's a common use for it. Gynecological conditions, it's brilliant for as well. Mm. Uh, diseases of the womb, the, the canine disease pyometra for exa example, it would be absolutely fine for that. Mm. Uh, tumours in the abdomen, any abdominal thing this isn't a Doppler effect a scanner, so it's not much good for hearts at all. Mm. So we don't do much thoracic work. It's mainly abdominal work, but I regard it as a complement to the uh, to the X-ray machine. But I've been in this building for 25 years, so things are moving on. But of course, the next stage would be some other form of imaging, like MRI scanning. But we're never going to have that because of the expense, mm. at least I don't no, think no. so. And we'll skip the cat scan yeah, joke. Well, sure, sure. Right. But we are referring for that quite frequently. My yes. clients don't balk at £700 a hit for a cat scan, yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, We would use that for 
things you can't diagnose in any, any other way, such as the brain tumours, for example. Right. I mean, the X-ray machine is never going to show it. The ultrasound machine is never going to show it, except in neonates where you get hydrocephalus mm. and stuff. But uh, a good going brain tumour, you really need the CAT scan, that sort of thing. You know? Right. That's why, yeah. why uh, veterinary insurance is getting so expensive, presumably, because of the well, tech stuff. Yes, it's dreadful, isn't it? Uh, 25 years ago, my fees were quite moderate. Mm. Now, I think I have to be in line with other vets in the area. This is insurance driven, and we can be charging our clients up to about £1,000 a head now, which is it's never been my way, but all this lot's got to be paid for somehow. Sure, sure. Uh, there was an article, I think, in the Telegraph where they said the cheapest insurance you could get for a hamster was about 65 quid a year, which I yes, think is more right, than yeah. we get for looking after <laughs> human patients. No, well, that, that's right. It, it, uh, pet insurance, it does mean that I do like it because. I can then use any of my toys I like, mm. or more importantly, I can refer to who I like. But I hope I'm not one of them, but, but there would be a body of veterinary surgeons now I'm quite sure would be abusing uh, you know, pet insurance. Mm. They would have fees for normal people and fees for insured people. Well, that's, uh, that's common in the medical world, it's not, yeah, a, it's not, a, it's is, not unusual. Uh, it sticks in my throat a bit. but. There, there, there we have it. Okay, I'll leave you for a second to fix that up and then we'll go on to the third part.